The word euthanasia comes to mean a person who's sick getting help to die, but it does just, in a sense, the word itself simply means a peaceful death. There's no one who can give you any lawful assistance to end your life. Uh, that's true in every state and territory. Briefly in 1996-97, the Northern Territory introduced the world's first law about rights of the terminally ill act, and what that meant was that a person who satisfies strict criteria could in fact get lawful help to die. But it seems to me, watching these people from outside, that it is a dreadful situation and made worse by the fact that in the current way the law is structured in Victoria, you can't get any assistance to put an end to it. Seven or eight out of ten Victorians will say, yes, they want that choice. I was then the first doctor in the world to ever use voluntary euthanasia legislation and for quite a while I was the only doctor in the world who, in that position. So I was able to see what society is like without legislation and what it's like with legislation. I could make that comparison and I could see that it was just so much better. Now I am in a position to lawfully help you. So what I could do was go to that person, as I did in the case of Bob Dent, the first person in the world to receive a legal, lethal, voluntary injection. He said, come around on a, on a uh, Sunday afternoon. It's a, bit, uh, it's a bit scary, really. I mean, he demonstrated eligibility, but of course then he said, I want to use that law. I went around there on that Sunday afternoon and he said, I'm going to die at two o'clock. He asked me to put the needle into his arm, which I did. Uh, connected the the, uh, the needle up to the machine that I'd built, uh, it was a little laptop computer, presented him with the three statements, but the final statement said, if you press this button, you will die. Do you wish to go ahead? He pressed the button on the machine, the machine started up, he pushed the machine to the side, and he was able to turn to his wife, Judy, and he was able to hold his wife, the person who loved him, and he died in her arms as the machine started up and the drugs started to flow. Many people I think wouldn't go down that path, they just feel secure in the knowledge that they had the option.